You are charged with cowardice before the enemy. What do you say for yourself? There was no point in throwing away my men's lives. The thing will not be slain with our steel. Nonsense. You and your men turn and ran. I have never run from a man in my life. If you had not, then Decanus Paulus and his Kuntabernium would still be with us. No, Aetius. You are a coward and a disgrace to Rome. Centurion Regulus, I have fought for the Legion from Egypt to Gaul. I have slaughtered princes in the desert and savages in forests. I was killing men when you were still suckling at your mother's teeth. There are things out there in the wilds. Things that feed off this blood and violence. Things that crave it. Somehow, these barbarians enslave such a beast. Our pylons bounced off its hide, and even Decanus Paulus drew no blood despite the great strength of his gladius. We drew steel and plunged in anyway. Three of these boys died from one slash of its horns. So I withdrew. We left their boneyard to come here and tell you of this creature. So you could tell the priests. Consult the auguries. Tell us how to slay this thing, this foul monster, and we will gladly return back to that desolate place with hate in our hearts and steel in our hands. I hear nothing but children's stories of monsters. You are a coward, former Decanus Atreus. The punishment for your contubernium is decimation. Shall you draw lots? No. I am the Decanus. Very well. Sergius. Yes, my lord. See that the emperors will be done. <laughs> Sergius, you are the new Decanus of this rabble. Form the maniple. We go to finish what Aetius could not. <laughs> Aetius described. Return to the camp. Inform the Legatus of what you saw here. Yes, Centurion. But what of you? Never let it be said I do not pay for my mistakes. Please tell that to my father. Yes, my lord. And Sergius. Yes. Give Aetius a soldier's burial. 